Welcome back to another Brand Villas RV walkthrough. Today we're going to showcase the 2020 Porto 24P. It has a queen bed, it's on a Mercedes chassis um, with the three liter turbo diesel. It's kind of a new uh, floor plan type of manufacturing Winnebago really put into this one. It's almost a hybrid of a Navion and a Spirit. You're going to see that when we get inside. The fit and finish is beautiful, but it's at a price point where anybody can really get into the Mercedes chassis lifestyle. So starting, powered awning, lit with an LED strip and also with a LED porch light. Coming through, there's not too much exterior storage, but you still get a good amount. Here is your LP tank and your cable TV hookup. You also get two outlets. Then you got your water heater for servicing, draining for the winter time. Um, you know, beautiful Porto decals. Around the back side, <clears throat> got your LED lit backup camera. Ladder to get to the roof for servicing and checking all those major components. Uh, trailer hitch with a seven pin connector. And also your holding tank flush port would be right here to clean out all those tanks for you. On the driver's side is the full wall slide out and storage throughout. This is These are your two main storage compartments on this guy. So underneath here is has a nice little tiered area and waterproof floor. And then your black and gray tank dumping station and your power. So you got 30 amp power on this 2020 Porto. Almost like a golf bag storage compartment here um, on the side with a lockable door. Down below is an additional storage compartment and then your 3.6 kilowatt LP owning generator. And that is everything on the outside. But let me show you one thing that Winnebago did differently on the 2020s is that they integrated pet leash kind of hookups on both sides. So you can forget about bringing the leashes and all those holders that you got to stake into the ground, but now it's here for you. Um, so let's jump inside on this 2020 Porto 24P. Welcome to the inside of the 24P. So there's a queen bed in the, ba in the bedroom that will flip up and store, and then the whole slide out will slide in when you're on the road. There's some fresh tank uh, drains right there, so when you do your servicing, that's where you go. Uh, storage above with USB ports and 12 volt, also a actual outlet back there. Nice little nightstands. Uh, the bathroom in here is pretty plain Jane. Uh, you got the one light, you got a mirrored medicine cabinet, corner sink, uh, just a little toilet, and then a self cleaning screen for the shower. Nice little skylight, you know, it, it's bathroom, it, it works. Uh, going into the kitchen here, it is a glass stove cover with a three burner range. Got a convection microwave below it. And then what something they kind of did here was a tile backsplash with an LED lit spice rack. I really kind of like the look of that just for the modern, modern styles. Um, laminate countertops, but with a very deep sink. Good little HDTV. Um, and then the storage in here is pretty impressive for such being a small guy. Pass through, fit your big, small, medium size items. So behind the TV by the front door is your system control panel. Very simple, it's just your um, tank levels, water heater, water pump, generator on and off. Uh, two solar panels, two 100 watt solar panels come standard on the roof. Inverter control switch and then your room slide out for your one slide. Very simple, not like building the wash but just telling the time. Refrigerator <clears throat> is ran off the inverter, so no more, you know, LP or electric, it all just runs off the batteries. Good size pantry with a small drawer at the bottom for your pullouts. And then these pantries um, and these ones back here can also double as a wardrobe, so you can take out the shelves and they all have clothes rods in them. So if you need space for your shirts, you got it. Uh, the dinette on here is something new that they did. Um, it looks, you know, just like any other dinette, but to fit taller people like me, I'm 6'5", 
what you do is you remove this one and then you remove this little guy back here and either you have secret storage or you got space to put your feet when you're sleeping, which is an awesome little feature I like that they thought about. Put that guy back. Um, then you got 12 volt and also regular outlets again. Coming into the cab, they got the cab over bunk with a new superstructure shell. So they've actually molded the fiberglass. The super shell sleeper deck, stylish waterproof one piece fiberglass sleeper deck contoured to fit the cab. It helps design reducing potential squeaks, rattles and leaks, thermal and acoustic insulation for superior driving and camping comfort. So at nighttime, the rain's quieter, the road's quieter while driving during the day, all around an upgrade for the Porto. So they also added in um, some seat cushions. These swivel swivel around so you can have additional two seats and some boosters so you're actually at ground level. A powered vent for sleeping and then two outlets, 12 volt and two USB chargers. Um, inside the cab, <clears throat> you got the standard Mercedes steering wheel with the talk and tech or the talk answer and end um, and then to go through your infotainment center. Uh, I still got the tip shift uh, uh, transmission and a touchscreen boss audio system with Bluetooth. Um, no navigation, but you know, there's space to put your phones and have a good co-pilot, that's what it's all about. So this is the 24 FP and available here at Shockby, Minnesota at Brand Villas RV. Uh, once again, we do RV sales, rentals, service, storage, parts and accessories. We got a dump station in back year round um, inside showroom, so please, you know, it's the winter time, don't forget about us, we're here for you. Check out our website at brambillasinc.com. Give us a call at 952-445-2611 or stop on down and just say hi. Once again, Chandler Brown at Brambillas RV. Thank you guys very much.